Hmm, from this much close, it looks much more awesome. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. Now, today's video is not on any specific topic, neither it's something inspirational, it's just more over a talk between you and me directly in person in here. So uh, let's talk about that. Before we move on to the topic specific things in this video, uh, I would like to thank all of the community in here. And um, I know we are just a small community, but for me, it's, it's a big thing. Now, I started my YouTube channel a long time ago. In fact, I created an account on YouTube way back in almost 2010 or 11, but that was just to upload uh, one of my interview that I gave on some news channel and that's it. I forgot that I even have a YouTube account and uh, I did, didn't have any intention to create any YouTube channel or something. Uh, but in the last couple of years, I thought that, hey, I, I should be doing on YouTube. And that thought really got entire year to just get started on YouTube. And then I started a channel a few, few months back and I realized that my quality that I'm delivering, uh, the cameras, the sound, uh, the lightning, uh, the, the way I use the camera is not something that I'm doing uh, what I can do at my best. So what I did, I started to learning and thankful to my connections and the community in which I teach, I, I know some of the instructors which are the best in uh, filmmaking and all these process. So I did join their bootcamp, of course, online, everything was online and I learned from some of the best. And you can see that uh, within a few months, I have grown quite a lot in the quality of the audio, the video and how, the, how I'm using this camera and everything. And it helped really quite a lot in building the community because I knew that even if I'm delivering the best quality content, uh, if it, is, if it is not watchable, people will not watch it. If it is not uh, crisp clear uh, along with the best audio, people will not watch it. So, and I have seen that as I'm working a lot in the quality of the videos and delivering more specific content. Uh, everything is just working out and I'm really happy to announce that uh, we are just crossing uh, almost 18,000 subscribers now on this channel. Now I know there are a lot of big guys than me, than me that who are having 100,000 or millions of subscribers. Uh, but what connects us, what unites us is uh, we are a community of programmers. At any given day, we can fight over Android versus iOS or Java versus Swift. And that is okay to me. If we fight over that, that is completely okay with me because end of the day, we are programmers and that is the glue that is sticking to us. And I'm happy uh, that I have, I'm able to create a community of programmers. 18,000 is big number for me, at least. I could have never achieved that offline. Uh, creating a community of 18,000 people, specifically programmers, that is something amazing uh, that is YouTube doing for me. And I'm really happy about it. And all of the efforts that I put up in learning the filmmaking and all these processes working out for me. Also, I would like to make a little, little small announcement that at uh, the project that I've launched, uh, learncodeonline.in, uh, we have now a community of uh, just over a thousand people <laughs> within the days. And uh, this is something insane. I, I never expected that this will grow up so quickly because it's not even weeks uh, that I have launched this. And now uh, a thousand people are learning from this. Uh, this, is, this is something amazing and very exciting for me. And also I would like to show you some of the projects that students are building up. And um, I would like to remind you that it's been just days that people have started to learn from those boot camps and everything. And I'm showing you just the projects of one of that courses. So uh, have a look on these screenshots that I have taken here. And these are all from the students. Amazing, amazing. And I always wish that there should be something in the learning mechanism where student can show off their work. It's, it's amazing. And many times I have seen that people are learning something like C or Java or PHP and then they get, uh, they actually don't get the confidence that I can do something. They have nothing to show off their projects or something. 
and when students actually are learning something and building something from my courses, uh, this, is, this is something I always dreamed of. So I'm really happy about it. Now also, uh, I would like to make a few, uh, touch up a few points uh, that you have been asking. So I've picked up a few questions and I'll be answering them as well. Uh, the number one question that I get when you'll be rolling out the certificates on learncodeonline.in. Now, from the day one, I was completely aware that I needed to roll out the certificates. I was working on that. And finally, the certificates are up. Uh, but these are not just the completion certificate which you get on various websites. These are not like that. These are full-fledged training certificates. And once you take down this course, uh, any of the course certificates are available with all of them. You have to by end of the course, you have to take a simple quiz. And based on that analysis of the quiz, the certificates will be uh, allotted to all of you as soon as you pass the minimum uh, passing marks of the quizzes. And uh, that is something great. And this is not just the completion certificate. These are full-fledged training certificates personalized to you with a unique IDs and everything uh, being included. And I'm trying to make this process as quick as possible. The certificates will be allotted to you within a few hours to 24 hours. But I'm trying to make sure that this time duration really uh, shortens out as well. In the future as well, I'm planning to roll out a few certificates based on your projects. Uh, so that in few of the courses you are making some really good and potential projects and based on the analysis of the project that how good you are doing uh, You will be allotted uh, project based working certificates that yes, we have worked on these number of projects along with us So this is something exciting that is coming up in the future Also a quick update that uh, everybody who is uh, enrolled in the course and who will be taking course in the future Certificates will be available to all of them. No need to pay extra. So everything is covered up so this is the one quick and great news I have for you. Now also I do have some good news and uh, to discuss something but I forgot. So I do have my phone here to discuss what are the topics or the questions. Okay, so Kotlin course, a lot of you have been asking when the Kotlin course will be uh, released. Kotlin course is finished uh, by today and still it will take a couple of more days uh, because the polishing of the videos, the editing of the videos will be st will, is still remaining and I have to do all of that. And uh, you might be asking why, why these editings and everything because I want to make your learning experience as perfect as possible. Sometimes you do need to see what mistakes I'm doing uh, so that you can learn what mistakes are and how you can overcome with that. But most of the time if there is some ums and uh, some meaningless things in the videos, I like to cut them off so that I can save your time as well. These are highly polished quality videos and you can expect uh, the release of the Kotlin course, uh, I think uh, the next Monday or maybe just like that. So next week is going to be the release of Kotlin course. And also very soon an entire course on Android uh, building apps using Kotlin is going to be released. And one more important thing is when the Android course will be rolling out. Now let me tell you uh, what's wrong with the Android course that we are building and why, why I'm not building it up. Now I do maintain a few apps on contract basis on iOS and Android. And right now I can see the scenario that we are in between Android N and Android O. So I'm making updates for existing apps from Android N to Android O and I can understand that this is such a pain to just update your code, existing code. Now, if I'll start making any course on Android N right now and within a few months, the Android O will roll out and it will break the things and you'll be again coming back to me that, hey, this code is not working, that code is not working. So within after a, a couple of uh, weeks and months, as soon as the stable version of the Android O is released for everybody, uh, I'll roll out a course on Android O as well. Uh, that will include the Java as well. So a complete Android development uh, with Java will be rolled out very soon and we'll be making some awesome and fantastic apps using Firebase, uh, some database, some clones like Snapchat clones. And obviously we'll not be cloning exactly. We'll be cloning some of the functionality of that, the base functionality of the apps, uh, some graphics and everything as well. So that will be rolled out very soon, but I, I just don't want to roll out the courses and courses and courses. I want to produce the best possible quality and want to deliver best possible products from those uh, trainings. So I'm not after releasing courses and courses. I'm after releasing uh, the best possible quality that I can produce. So Android course will come out along with Java, along with the Kotlin. There will be separate courses for that. 
But as of now, we just have the Kotlin course that will be rolling out. After that, uh, in the plan, there is a Kotlin course with Android. And as soon as Android O comes out, there will be course on complete Android O development with Java as well. So that's, that's the quick update. But yes, I don't want to break the things and don't want to produce anything and just want to sell it out. No, I'm not after that kind of thing. I'm after quality to give and serve the student best possible quality. I know a lot of you uh, might be waiting for the courses and want to learn from me, but that is, remember, uh, you want to learn from me because I produce the best quality courses, not the best quantity courses. You could have done that from offline institute or any other training centers as well, but I'm after the quality. Okay, so these are, I know this video was quite a little bit long and we just have talked through it, but this was just a personal talk, not a specific video. So that's all for this video. Just to remind you quick updates that yes, Kotlin course is coming. Android with Java is also coming. Android with Kotlin is also coming up. Uh, I'll be sharing you a few experience of how the updates went on for the existing clients from Android N to Android O as well. And also certifications are up for everybody uh, without increase in any prices of the courses or anything available for the previous and the future students as well. So go out and check out learncodeonline.in. And of course, I'm reading all of your comments in the comment section below. So let's have a little bit chit chat there and I'll be responding to all of you guys and I'll catch you up in the next video.